July 11th, July 11th. Very simple question and answer today. What works best on a bladed jig? The bladed jig, chatterbait, or what Roland Martin calls a scatterbait. What works best, what type of line, not what brand, say the brand if you want, but what type of line works best on a bladed jig? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, July 11. July 11, reading from a Catch a Better Life book, a book that I wrote a couple of years ago. Well, I actually put it on the market about this time last year. It took me two years to write the book. It's got a scripture for every single day. It's got a devotional built around fishing, and it's got a fishing tip for every day. It will do exactly what the title says. It will make your life better. It's the most important channel on YouTube. You can subscribe to that channel absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything. Most things that make your life better, they charge you a lot of money for. Nah, this is absolutely free. Now, if you want a copy of the book, you can get it from uh, get it from us at jimmyhouston.com. We've got to charge for that. The YouTube channel is absolutely free. We read these every morning at 5 o'clock Central Time. 5 o'clock, we don't read them at Central, 5 o'clock. It's dark at 5 o'clock Central Time. It's dark everywhere at 5 o'clock, except Alaska. But um, we post them every morning, 5 o'clock Central Time. July 11th, 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion. You see how a lion goes around? Just you can see a big lion walking, roaring, seeking out who he may devour. The devil walks around like a roaring lion, seeking out whom he may devour. Devour. Devour lunch for the devil my buddy mike frazier who owns camelot bell lake which is down north of waco texas has another lake that he named Wolfpack. this lake <laughs> this lake he stocked with bass all weighing between get this 10 and 16 pounds when he stocked the Wolfpack lake that all the fish he put in there was weighed between 10 and 16 pounds both his lake, off, uh, now, now he's had fish spawn in there, of course, and he's got fish smaller than, smaller than that now, but both of these lakes that he has offer excellent opportunities to catch huge bass every single day that you fish them. In fishing, we call a wolf pack, a school of bass that roam around, roam around a lake, shallow and deep, eating or devouring everything in sight. I've seen wolf packs go down the bank and chase bluegill and shad jump out on the bank. These big wolf pack goes around. You find a wolf pack, you're going to catch one just about every time you throw in there, no matter what you throw in there. You find these bass that are running around eating, eating, seeking and killing and destroying and eating. In today's verse, Peter warned us that the devil is that wolf pack. You and I are the shad. <laughs> we're the bluegill. We're the crawfish. We're whatever Satan or whomever Satan is anxious to destroy. That's what he does. That's what he does here on earth. 24-7, he's seeking to kill and destroy, to devour. What's our protection? How can we keep that from happening? Well, one way is to be on the lookout. It says right here, be vigilant. Be vigilant. The devil may be hiding in something really attractive, ready to pounce on us. And oftentimes, the sins that we fall into that make us subject to the devil devouring. And when we're talking about devouring us, seek and kill and destroy, he may destroy your livelihood. He may destroy your family. He may destroy your, your marriage. He may destroy all you've saved and worked for all your life with alcohol, with adultery, with cheating, with lying, all kinds of things. And he might put a lot of these in pretty attractive packages, just like a pretty bait. He's ready to pounce. The other protection involves alcohol. Yeah, it involves alcohol. That's the other protection we have. It says right here, we must stay sober to be safe from being gobbled up by the devil's tricks. When we have a few drinks, we have a tendency to not make very good decisions. There's a lot of people, sadly, in prison right here in the state of Oklahoma because they have killed people with their automobiles when they're under the influence of alcohol. They send you to prison for that here in Oklahoma. They do that in many states. Vehicular homicide, you kill somebody because you're drunk and you cause a car accident that kills somebody. They send you for prison, to prison for it. 
The devil is happy. The devil is rejoicing. The devil's having a party. He's destroyed your life through alcohol. So that's why here in Second, in First Peter it says, be sober. Be sober. Don't get drunk. Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We must stay sober to be safe from being gobbled up by the devil's tricks. Let's not become lunch for the devil. Let's not become lunch for that wolf pack. <clears throat> Here's our tip for today. What type of line is best for a bladed jig? Monofilament, not braid. A lot of people throw it on braid. Monofilament is better because it has stretch. It has stretch and that helps you when you set the hook. Monofilament line or copolymer line is good also, which is a blend of monofilaments. It's best for fishing a bladed jig. It's also best for fishing a regular jig most of the time. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>